Okay, guys, just uh, watching and reading some of your comments uh, regarding my recent video. If you haven't seen it, I'll uh, chuck the link up for that. But um, just regarding the uh, swinging trebles, running an assist, why don't I run it fixed? How? Like, what? what is the swinging assist? Like, what, what's that? And how do I tie it to the wall? Well, break it up simply um, for the reason of that is I wanted the trebles to sit up against the body but still be able to do the job as a stinger hook, still be able to get those fish that just nail the head. Um, I still wanted to run a sort of a stinger hook up against the back here, but I didn't want to attack something here on the back end because I know that if I run a treble or especially something that's a bit heavier gauge, you might run get away with it with running a single, but running a bit heavier gauge treble like I do having these own SD66s, some BKK hooks might be a bit heavy. I don't know what other brands are out there shout. They're qual all quality hooks, but they can be heavier gauge. And in retrospect, some of these hooks weigh a couple grams each, so they can actually put these lures out of balance. They couldn't be, won't be swimming to their potential. So I didn't want to stiffen up that lure. I still wanted to have its freedom, do it does what it does, but I still wanted to have that stinger purpose. And that's what I've come up with this. And it's working amazing for me. I, I don't see myself going back. Um, the only thing I do run on some of my lures, I just keep the single fixed at the front on uh, split rings, and then I run this system at the back. And um, yeah, it's just still working great for me. So what I'm gonna do, I want to uh, rig a, a lure that's not rigged yet, it's not finished. I want to show you a bit of a breakdown on how I tie these. And um, yeah, nonetheless, let's get stuck into it. But I need you a set of a set of pliers and cutting to cut the uh, to cut the line. Uh, a blowtorch, lighter, stove top if you want. Uh, heat gun is probably optimal, so it doesn't burn the heat shrink. If you haven't dealt with heat shrink before, going off that heat shrink itself. Now, as far as a heat shrink, I'm not 100% sure on brands or whatever. Heat shrink is heat shrink to me, but in regards to size. Look at it so as if you get your the eye of your treble and you want to fit it over the top. You just want it to just to snug fit over the top without being too without too much force. That's pretty much how I gauge it off. So um, I don't know if I had to guess. It's probably like yeah, five six mil opening on it. So um, there's that. And also now PE assist cord. Not Jay playing any brands or whatever. This is a blue PE assist cord this is used mainly for your deep water offshore jigging your knife jigging for you know your, your dog tooth tuna your yellowtail kingfish your tuna some of the stuff that we use offshore even for our marlin as well in rigging some of our baits and i thought this has its spot in here too so time and place so nonetheless what i'm going to do is grab a bit of a length to work with this stuff can get pretty expensive so i try and utilize it as much as i can without chopping lengths off and butchering it what I've got here is my length of uh, PE cord. Now, the way I've measured that, literally I've grabbed it, put it through the eye of the lure, doubles it over, pretty much just measure it up. See the eye, the uh, point right there. I'm just having a double sitting around, long lure, and my treble. And I'm going to sit it basically, I'm going to sit it flush, flush with the tail, as you can see there. That's pretty much where I want to have it sitting. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take note roughly, a little mental note where that is. Pretty much just, it's below halfway along the uh, thread. So what I'm gonna do is just loop and tie a uh, granny knot. But I'm not going to pull it tight. What I'm gonna do, double granny knot. So all I've done is just an overhand knot. But don't pull it tight. See, you can see there's a hole. So with that, now grab the uh, treble, eye of the treble, and just slide it up inside that hole inside there. So now you have it like that. And you can sort of tension that, you can pull that a little bit tight. Now, pull it up against the eye, and what you want to do is you grab the doubled part, the section, doubled section, that part, and feed it through the eye of the hook. 
Now, really what's happening, that overhand double knot is jamming up against the eye of the hook and can't slip through, it won't let it slip through. If anything, it actually bites tighter and tighter around the shank of the hook. Realistically, that can catch fish. Right now, that can catch fish. Running this system on single hooks we've caught monster uh, kingfish over 40 kilos in New Zealand using this and it hasn't pulled. And I didn't see it pulling. All moving. So this, as you can see, we're off him snug it up to there. It's almost, it's just past the tail, which is good because I still have to cat pour it through the eye of the lure. So having it sit back there is a good thing. So now you can see if your lure was uh, your hook for instance was here or it was way back here um, depending if you want to run it there that's cool but if you just needed to change it that's cool you just push this open up the uh, loop open it up and just adjust it just play with it pull that hook out and just adjust it move that loop further down further up or whatever suits you but I found it pretty good where it is so Pull that through the eye, pull it tight, and then get the double through back through the eye of the hook. And just pull it. And as you can see there, it's like the granny knot is sitting right where I, I want it to be. So I want to do, as I can see, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's going to sit right where I want it to. I want to do, I want to trim those tags off. But first, what I want to do, put in a set of pliers, put it in, just sort of make it bite down a bit. Give it a real tension pull. Oh, it doesn't matter, you can cut it pretty tight, but I like to give it a little bit of tag. There's a pretty average scissors. That's it there. Realistically, you can run it the way it is. But this is where I like to tighten things up a bit. I like to make things tidy and presentable and just a lot neater. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a piece of heat shrink. Grab about 10 to 15 mil. I'm gonna do is just slide it over the double. and over the hook, as you can sort of see there, as you can see here, so now that I've gone over, this is the knot is inside, wiggle it down, just so the tip of the eye is starting to stick out, now I want to do, right there, get the blowtorch, I want to do is just heat it. Watch it shrink down. Don't get too close or don't burn it too hard at once because you actually burn the line. Just want to heat it. On and off. Just while it's warm. Yeah, make it nice and tidy as you can see there. Helps the granny not lock into place. Like that is perfect. Now what I'm gonna do, <coughs> excuse me, is grab the eye lure and thread it through. Put it through the eye of the lure. And beauty of this is it's endless pivot. Like I know some of these lures have swivel points, but this allows no split rings to jam it or make it stop. It can freely spin. So I've gone through, now all I'm doing is just tucking it over the treble, sitting it inside itself. Tuck it over each point. And if you have done it a little bit too long and you want to give yourself a little bit more slack, you can always do two loops. See now that, remember how we had it back here? Now because we've done the loop over here, it's actually brought it up inside. And that is literally just perfect. When I pull that and tension that really tight, that finishes just perfect. Just the way I were to run it.
there we have it guys swinging treble assist hooks As you can see on these bigger boys I usually run uh, the two swinging uh, trebles this one on a bit bit smaller I'm not it's got the uh, split ring and hook there at the front and on the rear I do run that swing and treble um, and also here on this uh, big thirsty snake I am running it on the front as you can see there this um, it's a bit of an insurance because I do get a lot of headshots from those bigger fish um, having a crack so that if it doesn't pin them on the initial bite it usually finds its mark on uh, during the fight so that's um, very handy and very worth well worth doing uh, unless I do have a few like this big mega bass 262 ice slide awesome this thing just stirs up massive fish and gets them reacting and uh, this bungee swim bait as well these two are up next I've got a bit of a trip coming up so I've got a fair bit of rigging to do fair bit ahead of me so uh, nonetheless guys thank you for watching I hope you learned something as always you're fishing with the captain.